Hi, this is Steve Caldwell. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up a repeating timer to flash the LEDs of an Innovation Launchpad. This should provide you some insight into the use of timers and ideas on how to use them for functions that you might be interested in. Before we start with the actual timer, let's first set up some housekeeping tasks for your project. I do this to ensure I can properly initialize any global variables I use and have a way to get them to a known state. Okay, first let's set up the ports I'm going to use. Notice I'm going to use Launchpad Mach 2 on both the input and output. The output will be the LED states and the input will be the buttons. Uh, then I've got a couple of, um, of translators I've set up to actually initialize the project. One of them set up it happens at the project open and the other happens when I hit the escape key. They both drive a timer called INIT. The INIT timer is going to initialize some variables and also send a MIDI message to the launch pad to get it to a known state. I'm going to use GA as the value for the on off of the button and GB as the target channel. I'll use GC as my default note number and then GD will be the number of times I want the timer to trigger. Finally, the raw MIDI message is a sysx message that is going out to the launch pad that's going to initialize it and put it into the proper user mode that I want. Now to the actual translators that are doing the work. The first one's going to monitor the note on event messages and capture which note number and the velocity of the note that are coming in. On output, it's going to uh, start a timer and set it the repeat count of GD, which was six, as we defined earlier in the global uh, setup. And it's going to set a 500 millisecond delay or one half second delay. Now here's the timer that actually does the work. What it's going to do when going off, it's going to, first of all, toggle the value of on off state of the button. And then it's going to decrement the flash counter. And then finally, it's going to send out note messages, whether it's on or off, it'll set out to a different value. By having them go out at a different value of velocity, the note color is going to change or the button color will change. The outgoing message is the note on message on the given channel with the note number and the velocity for the color that we want. Now let's see how it works. I'm going to go ahead and press a button and there it flashes different colors, total of three times or six timer. I can do that on any button. And there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this and if you have any questions feel free to reach us at www.bohm.com.